Hello, Big G's neighborhood. I'm Rachel, and it's time for an object lesson and science experiment. Our lesson today goes with Mr. Kevin's story about the widow's offering. Jesus and his disciples were at the temple. A proud man stood out where everyone could watch him put lots of money into the donation box. Then a poor widow, a woman whose husband has died, she quietly dropped in two pennies. Jesus said she had given much more than the proud man because she gave everything she had out of her love for God. See, it's not how much you give. It's why you give. It's what's in your heart. It's the reason you give or help someone. Is it to get attention or fame? Or is the reason you give because you love God and you care about other people? And now talking about giving, would anyone like me to give you a dollar bill? Yeah. How about this one? No? Or this one? Don't you want a dollar bill? If I could hand you this dollar bill, you could take it to the store. Yes, but if you tried to buy anything with it, it wouldn't work. You know why, because this is play money. It's only for games or for playing store. Now I bet all of you would like to have this dollar bill, right? This is a real bill. How can you tell? Well, it's larger than that play money. It's a different color and has printing on both sides. It says the United States of America, and it's a Federal Reserve note. But most important, you know, it has George Washington's portrait. But as distinct as this dollar bill is, there are people who try to copy it. They copy the paper, the ink, the colors, and all the designs and pictures and make fake or counterfeit money. But you know, even if they do all that, you can tell a real dollar bill, yet not by what's on the outside. You see, every real dollar bill has security threads inside the fibers of the paper of the bill. Did you know that? These little fibers made of plastic or metal, depending on the size of the bill, is actually woven into the dollar bill. It's almost invisible when you look at it, but if you hold it up to the light and you can see those fibers come out like a solid line and you can tell this is a real dollar bill. Not what's on the outside, but what we can see on the inside. You know, the Bible says something similar about us. We can go to church. We could sing songs to God, read the Bible, and even put money into the offering plate. But God doesn't just look at these outward actions to see if we love him. Where does God look? Yes, he looks at our heart, at the inside. The proud man and the widow, they both gave their gifts of money. Yet, you can tell who was a fake and who really loved God. Now let's do our science experiment. We're going to discover how something very small can make a big impact. And when you put together a lot of small gifts or things together, you can make something beautiful. Well, we need just three things. First, a shallow plate, preferably white, some water, and lastly, some colored candy, 
well, like Skittles or M&Ms or I still have jelly beans left over from Easter. <laughs> so let's go at step by step. We'll pretend these are my few coins that I put into the offering or donation plate. First, place the candies around the outside of the dish. You can make a pattern of the colors or just helter skelter if you'd like. They can touch if you have plenty of candy or you can spread them out and I'm going to make a proto purple over here. There we go. All right. That's first. Second, we take our water. Oh, I want to change this red so the red isn't next to a red. There we go. Now, second, take your water and very gently pour it into the middle of the dish, covering the bottom, but don't cover the candies, just so it's about halfway up. Thirdly, we wait and we watch how these few small coins can make a beautiful rainbow-like work of art. As the colors spread, as we wait just a few minutes, each color is separating as it dissolves in the water. There's nothing fake about this masterpiece. How did your masterpiece turn out? So anyway, remember, God doesn't care about how much you give. It's why you give. It's what's in your heart and the reason you give or help someone. God can make something really beautiful with whatever you give. So until next time, take care of each other.